Do you ever get the wintertime blues? No, not the depression. These winter blues. Now, if you think catfishing is just for summer, well, you're gonna love this. And it's easier than you think. So come join the G3 Sportsman as we go on a wintertime catfish safari. Oh, yeah. Man, oh, this oh, never get gets over. Get the rod holder. You gotta love that. That's the old power bend right there. I lost it. <laughs> Give me my fish. He fell off. Well, that thing pulled twice as hard as a silver. Look at this catfish. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got to catch Thank you, fish. That's what I'm talking about. Get you some of that. The G3 Sportsman is presented by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. The catfish used to be one of the most popular fish species to catch back when I was younger, and for whatever reason, it just kind of got put on the back burner. But with the good people like our own pro staffer Jeff Williams of Team Catfish, these guys are what's bringing catfish back. And catfish is probably, more than ever, as popular as it's been in the past 20 years. And something that a lot of people that are getting into catfishing, you know, are thinking that that's kind of a summertime uh, fish to catch. But really, you can catch more numbers of catfish in the fall and winter than you can in the summer. Now, when G3 Pro Staffer Jeff Williams told me a while back that he could boat big numbers of blue cats in cold weather, I thought he was just full of beans. So he said, all right, he can prove it and I should go with he and Steve Brown sometime over to Warsaw, Missouri and just see for myself. Now Steve owns and operates Catfish Safari and guides on Lake of the Ozarks and Truman Lake here in central Missouri. Steve and Jeff go way back. They met back when Jeff was guiding in this part of the country and have kept a great friendship for many years. They don't get to fish together much anymore so it's going to be a treat to have these two experienced catfish guides teaming up to not only show me but for all the other naysayers out there, that you can catch big numbers of blue catfish in cold weather. Anyway, what we're doing is this flat here come, come, go, comes out of this cove and water temperature 44 degrees. Our best fishing, really, I think from December to this middle of March like this, this is, this is the best of the whole year. And everybody seems to think it's gotta be here in the summer. Man, that fish bit hard. You gotta be here in the summertime and all that. We got this lake to ourselves all winter. I mean, we've seen one other boat, two other boats all day and catching these nice fish. But it's just, you, you do not have to wait till summer or spring to catch these fish. They're just here year round, these blue cats, really feed well in the winter time. Right here. Now if I was gonna eat some fish today, that's filet mignon. That's about the perfect size that I like to clean. Any bigger than that and they go back, any smaller, I go easy now. Oh. Man, that ain't no cheese bait, Jeff. That don't count. That was my rod. That was a live shed, Steve. So, I know. You're lucky I let you reel it in. This one's going back. Oh, no. Another blue cat. Well, now look at that. Now, look at the size of that fish in relationship to that bait. That's pretty cool. You, you don't think that the, uh, if I can get that out of there. Boy, he's got her eight. I can't get it out of there, but that shad's about that long. And that's, uh, that's about a two pound fish. Which is twice as big. That's, that goes on my side of the scoreboard, by the way. He snaked me out of my fish while I was busy. 
This portion of the G3 Sportsman is brought to you by G3 Boats, a Yamaha boat company, O'Reilly Auto Parts, the professional parts people, and Kiyoki Ammunition. What's your game? Oh, there you go. Oh, no, he's on there. Man, <laughs> that was the smack down. <laughs> He laid that one down. That's exactly what we were just talking about. The bike changing. There was no. A fish with some attitude's always good. Hit the old chunks. He can have it. There, he earned it. That's three or four pounder. Nice fish. Oh. That was fun. I like to cut my chunks like this. Cut the tail off. And then I'll angle it. I just think you get a little more uh, meat out there. The amino acids come out of the, the muscle. So if you can get more exposed, the better. So that's just how I like to chunk them up. So... Funny too, Jeff, they went, you know, for a while I was catching so many on live bait. About as fast as I could get them out there. Now they kind of left the live bait alone. I hooked that on first. Our bites changed. Right there. That is some bait. Uh-oh. Well, they're over, baby. Oh, There's a good oh. hit. Oh, he buried, you see that? Uh -uh. Okay. He buried that rod and got about got airborne. Nice one. He's pretty good. Put on a good show. Hard. Yeah. I don't think he's going to open up. We got him. Nice one. I guarantee you he was hooked before I ever picked that rod up. That's the five lot. That's my favorite in the winter. Water gets above about 50 some degrees, I'll switch. How many of these things up here right now, Steve, you think in this shallow water all over this lake? Yeah, thousands and thousands. Oh. Well, he's been, been there. He, boy, he's minute. really going. Look at him. He's, Jeff, 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 over here. Yeah, I think he's coming at you. Yeah, he was just cutting across that flat. I think this one's got a fish on it. This, this one? Yeah. Did oh. it get a hit? Yeah, he buried it over. Steve's got us hopping now. I got these fish trained. Promised them I'd release them. They'd show up for the camera. Look at that, how he buried that hook. It was like that before I picked it up, I guarantee you. You know, a lot of a lot of people think this catfishing is a, a spring and summer event. And I'll tell you, our best fishing is in the winter. I really believe that. In uh, the winter time, a lot of times, they'll get in these wintering holes and just pack in their tight, and it can be easy picking. But it amazes me how many people are waiting. So, you know, a lot of good catfishmen, but they're waiting until it warms up, summertime, uh, springtime, to come up here and fish, and, and they've already missed them. They're, the very best fishing of the whole year. That's your big bait. Uh oh. Get serious now. Hey, they still pull in cold water too. Steve's got a present for you. Big yellow present. Come on, open up. Oh, he's caught. Got me. him. Hey. That looks better. I'll give you a high five on that one. <laughs> Finally. 
Got him in the A dot. Hook right in the corner of the mouth on that reel down hook set. Nice one. How big do you think that one is, Steve? But he's 15 plus. He's, a, I mean, that's a fat fish. Nice blue cat. But there's a bunch of crappie in there. <laughs> there's Good a, boy. Nice blue catfish. A lot of fun in the winter time. Especially the shallow water. Yeah. All right. Well, we're gonna let that rascal go. That was a mean fish he for fought, 15 pounds. He, he fought hard. He had the rod bent over. Oh, goodbye, thank you, catfish. Now there's a high five. Yeah, that's a good one. I want to talk to you today about what we're using, what our uh, terminal tackle uh, rig is, uh, how we're rigged up, and, and what the advantages are of this. Um, we start out with, this is our 5 aught black nickel double action hook, catfish hook. Now these hooks work several different ways, but today you've seen us reel down and hook the fish, and you've seen the fish hook themselves, and you can also stand up and, and set the hook with this. Then we're coming up uh, to a barrel swivel. We've just got a piece of 40 pound uh, leader. We come to a one op barrel swivel, and uh, then we come up to a product called a sinker bumper. This is another Team Catfish product, and it's the first soft rubber bumper, if you can see that, that actually collapses. And what it does, whether you're using egg sinkers or a sinker slide rig, like we have here, uh, we like to say this is better than a bead and it takes all the shock out of your sinker when it comes down here and hits this swivel and it's a lot easier on your lead. Now the other product that we have here is a number six sinker slide. These go up and down your line very, very easily. They don't damage your braid or damage your line at all and the beauty of these is you can clip your sinkers off and on that easily without ever having to cut your line. Uh, these will hold up to a 16 and you can fish all the way down to a half ounce and you just clip your sinkers off and on that easy. And you can also do that when you go in at night so your rods aren't, the sinkers aren't beating and banging your rods. So those are some of the terminal tackle products we have at teamcatfish.com and uh, you can do that you can catch a lot more big catfish. This segment of the G3 Sportsman is brought to you by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. Shakespeare since 1897, Berkeley, Catch More Fish, and Dennis Hank Chevrolet, where you'd send a friend. What we're doing is these fish, this, okay, we're late winter, and these fish have been up here since mid-February in about two foot of water. And we're catching them up to close to 40 pounds up here, a ton of that two to 10, two to 15, and so we're gonna get up here, we're in seven foot now. We're gonna get up about two foot and just fan cast around the boat. You can't mark the fish because it's too shallow. Your graph ain't gonna pick anything up. So it's kind of a big guessing game. But all you do is set up, give it 10 minutes. If you don't have fish on, you probably need to move somewhere. So what we're doing here, we're fishing just mud flats. This is just a typical, where a cove meets a river channel. And we're gonna throw half of them here deep off in the channel. And then Jeff's throwing some up here and it's two foot deep up here. Kind of had the best of, best of both worlds by doing this. If we start getting a bunch of them deep and not shallow, we'll just pitch them all over there. But I think it's gonna be a pretty good mix right here. Pull it on over. Nice one. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good bite. That's probably my biggest fish today. Here he comes. Oh, yeah. Nice catfish. Dandy. Oh, that one's going up front. She's good. You trying to eat it up there? Yes! <laughs> Got him! Way to go, Steve. That's a oh. nice fish. No, that's Look a at that. Right, we've been here. You hang on, just hang on. <laughs> we've been here five minutes. 
Look at the mud on him. And he pulled it right off that ledge. That's what's the advantage of these kind of spots like this. When you can do this, you see we're shallow. We stuck the mud pole in. And we got half of them up here shallow and half deep. So you can do both. Jeff had here about a minute or two and he had a rod going down, he, and, but he let it go. So when you can do this, you're way better off because you're getting the best of both worlds. This time of year, especially late winter, early spring, these fish run both deep and shallow. Oh, here, here, right here. Got one, got one going. That one Get. just flattened out, but then he just left. Oh. <laughs> anyway, that, now we got a fishing trip. Nice blue catfish. Now we're up probably 30 fish total today. Yeah. And we had a lot of that good three to five pound. That is, and a, then, uh, that is just a dandy, folks. We had a 15, and this one will probably go 25. You bet. Let's let them go. Yep. That's Wish a we had a camera. Still camera. There he goes. That's a healthy fish. Awesome. Right. It's critical to know why you have to have a good rod holder. Because, especially with circle hooks, the rod holder is part of the system. P people don't understand, they think, okay, it holds my rod up and all that. You need a rock solid base rod holder. These drift, half inch drift masters are tough. I've had them on a bunch of my guide boats. I keep passing them from one boat to the next. Because what'll happen, you can, these rods are designed to load those hooks up. You see today we have them, they're just burying them over. If you've got a flimsy rod holder, it won't let the rod do its job, like this one's getting ready to do. Because you got, why have this no stretch braid? Everybody's praising so much and it works just like they say. Why have the, uh, the circle hooks, laser sharp, and these rods load up if you got give in the rod holder. If you got give in that rod holder, the rest of the system won't work. So it's important that you have a rock solid base. And remember, it is part of the entire system. You can't have that thing sitting there given down here, made out of plastic or something like that, and then expect the rest of the, the setup to work. It just won't work. <laughs> that's the old slow motion That's a big there. fish. He tried to wrap that thing around the back of the boat, didn't he? He come right off the ledge, right up Is he a nice one? Pretty good. He's 15 pounds. I'll bring him right to you. Right to the old grippers. Dandy. Look how pretty, that is a pretty fish. Ain't no mark on it. This is a good anchor. We've got some awful nice fish here. Let's get him back up here and get that baited up. Down he went. That was cool. It's just a wonderful place to fish. We catch a lot of blue cats. We got flatheads here, uh, some channel cats, but I target the blues. There's a lot of them and they get big, so it's, it's what I call guide friendly. It's not, it, a lot of people think this guide service is probably the greatest job you'll ever have. In a lot of ways it is, but it's a lot of work too. It's not easy making a living just catfishing all the time. And uh, you really gotta work at it. Uh, you know, I owe a lot of credit to my friend Jeff Williams by doing this. I always, I always figure if I, if I get rich, I, I owe him. If I go bankrupt, he better watch out. I don't care. I, I said this to Jeff earlier. Who you are, who you think you are. When them rod tips go over, it brings out the 10 year old in you. And uh, I see this, I fish almost every day and I never get tired of watching them rods buckle over like that. Another really quality blue catfish. What we did is the first few places we fished, we stopped and we anchored in some shallow water and we fished around a lot of the bait fish that were in the shallow water that had migrated back into this cove because the water was a little bit warmer. 
And then we moved out of there and we went and we anchored on a big drop off on a ledge, uh, actually at the, at the mouth of where that creek runs out, out into the main channel. And we set up on the ledge, we fished in shallow water uh, on the right of the boat, or on the left of the boat, we fished in deep water on the right of the boat, and uh, we caught some really nice fish out there on that drop off. So it's not a lot of really technical type of fishing what we're doing here in the winter. You just gotta keep moving and keep looking for active catfish. Hey, there was no way that I could show all the fish that these guys caught in today's show. Unbelievable, but that just goes to show you now, now you know that you can catch lots of catfish in the wintertime. And if you want to be a better catfishman or you just want the best gear when it comes to catfishing, then Team Catfish is your one-stop shop. Just get on teamcatfish.com. You can find anything you need for catfishing, no doubt. And if you want to have your own catfish safari up here in central Missouri around the Lake of the Ozarks, Steve Brown is the guy to call right there. You got the information right here below. Give this guy a call and you too will be catching plenty of catfish year round with this guy right here. But that's all we got for this week's show. Hope you enjoyed it. And just remember that we'll see you somewhere next week right here on the G3 Sportsman. Thanks for watching. No catfish safari, that's what I'm talking about. The G3 Sportsman has been brought to you by G3 Boats, a Yamaha boat company. Bioki Ammunition, what's your game? Riley Auto Parts, the professional parts people. Shakespeare, quality fishing products since 1897. Berkeley, catch more fish. Pfluger, quality since 1881. Dennis Hank Chevrolet, where you'd send a friend. And by Yamaha, reliability starts here. Ah, oh, going in a mess. They're no good until they get like that. Shad scales, blue cat slime. Then they'll start working on it. You gotta stay on that side of the boat. Boy, he's mean to me. I've caught, in the last three weeks, I've caught hundreds out of here. Whoop. It don't matter who catches the most. At the end of the day, it's who caught the biggest.